How you doing? My name is Captain Seas. Now, why would you play a bad character? Ew. For real, there are a lot of things we can touch up on. Uh, this topic is mainly broad. It's really broad because a lot of bad characters are either because you underrate them, it's really underrated by everybody in the Smack community, minus like a few people, maybe because you like the surprise factor. Now let's talk about every single one, or at least the majority. I'm actually talking about strictly for tournaments, using low tier characters or bottom tier characters to tournaments. Not like to friendlies, money matches, or any stuff like that. Why would you use a bad character? Well, maybe you are a cackle. Maybe you just want to enter the tournament for fun and see how it is. And for that, amazing. Please go to tournaments. Maybe you saw the tier list. 3.0 and you're like, why is, why is Kirby down there? I'm like the best Kirby in, let's say, Texas or Minnesota or whatever. I'm going to show that this character can do it. Therefore, you're going to be using, you're going to be showing us that Kirby or other characters, or let's say that you can do some work, but you have some, the, the, the most un, underdeveloped character in your arsenal, and you're like, I optimized this character. I cannot wait to show them. Just like Raito did with uh, Doug Hunt Dog. Really surprises, not going to lie. Tier lists are based on results. Tier lists are solely based on how this character is good, how this character can stack up to the meta and tournament results. Now, it under it's understandable how characters like Olimar is like top five, top ten, maybe even maybe even top three because of how good the character is, because of how effective this character can 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 do in tournaments and just really powerful. It just makes sense. And people saying that your character is bad. People not really understanding that your character is just is just underrated. That's really about it. You haven't seen the best of the best using the character. That happened recently. It's just an extra part of it. And then nice save down tilt. Nice save. That's the way to do it. You block the smash and then punish the follow-up on whip. It's it's a lot of extra work you have to do, but you know, Pichu can do it. Yeah. This is possible, but wow, that dash time almost killed him. Next one will probably Pichu's kill. very light. Oh, the chair. And he has Tyro. I cannot get the center stage right yeah. now. Yeah. Now maybe your character is really bad in this game because of mechanics in this game. Like a little certain Mac. There are people that also use a bad character as a surprise factor. Like, as I said, maybe your opponent doesn't have the knowledge, the experience versus versus a character, and you want to use that character versus your opponent. Now that's it's a really cool surprise factor. Surprise that they're never gonna see it coming. Yeah, there are other answers here. Maybe nostalgia. Maybe you like Pokemon. Maybe you love Brawl. So Pokemon Trainer, you wanna you wanna use Pokemon Trainer a lot. Wait, Pokemon Trainer is not a bad character. Maybe you love Donkey Kong Country, right? And you wanna use K Rule. That's fine. Maybe you like their moveset and their playstyle, therefore you just fall in love instantly. And for the last one, maybe you want to push a character. Maybe you want to push the character's meta even more, so you use this, this bad character and just push said character in order to be better, in order for the character to be better, if that makes sense. Underdeveloped bad character 
turn into a really decent character in many eyes after your show. So what I'm saying is, never give up. You, if you're using a bad character and you really want to stick to the bad character and you don't want to use top tiers, high tiers to get to tournaments and you are really in love with a bad character, that's fine. You know, I'm not... I'm not discriminating anyone who, who uses top tiers, mid tiers, high tiers, low tiers, bottom of the barrel, you know, that's scraping that little Mac off the... <laughs> All jokes aside, please tell me in the comment section below, why do people use bad characters? Tell me your experience, tell me your reasons, alright? And a word from our sponsors. Yes, we have a sponsor. Me. How you doing? Sponsoring Seas here. And today we're going to talk about how you can support Catching Seas on YouTube. Do you want to support your favorite content creator, your favorite Smash YouTuber without having to go to another link or Patreon or actually go to his PayPal and donate him a small loan of a million dollars? With 4.99 a month, you can support Catching Seas and get cool, really cool emojis like these. Really cool badges like these. With just $4.99 a month, you can support Catching Seas and earn amazing perks like these. If you like the sound of these, just click on join and become a channel membership. Thank you. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. Make sure to leave a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. Please click the bell. Please click the bell. Ding! Click the bell icon. Make sure to put all of my. Make sure to get notified on all of my videos. Please. Please. Come on, man. Come on. I'll catch you guys in another video. And as always, stay gassy.